Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, over from there. So this uh, uh, now this is our equation on the order equation. If you just derive the equation for the uh, this waveform, you will find that you, you want to reduce this, remove this third harmonic component and fifth harmonic component. So to eliminate V O five must be equal to zero. Okay, n is equal to third, n is equal to fifth. Uh, five and three. So V O N is zero for third and fifth. So you got these two equations. So one minus cos three alpha plus cos uh, alpha one plus cos three alpha two is equal to zero. One minus cos five alpha one plus cos five alpha two is equal to zero. So when you solve these two problem, this equation. This is a iterative method actually. You cannot solve simply by using because it is you have to put one one value and then solve it iteratively. You can use that. So this after solution you will find that alpha one is 17.8 and alpha two is 38 degree. That means this alpha one and alpha two they these are the this alpha 1 and alpha 2 is this is a 18 degree okay this is 18 17 point how much it is 17.8 degree this width is 17.8 degree okay 0 2 and alpha 2 is your 38 degree alpha 2 is up to this point is your 38 degree and this is this pulse is your Alpha 1 is 17.8 degree. If you just for create a pulse, a notch at that point, then it will eliminate the third and fifth harmonic. So you similarly, if you want to eliminate more number, you can do like that also. So when you, you can see that because of this one, the third and fifth harmonic can be eliminated from this waveform. Uh, if it is a square wave, you create a notch. Notch means creating a pulse, okay, the width you are controlling. And so how you are controlling, it is offline. First you simulate the thing or you estimate the thing, then you put this in your, uh, how you will generate in actual practical circuit. In practical circuit, this alpha 1, alpha 2 is given. So as soon as a square wave, a pulse wave come, and then this alpha 1 is selected, and then for alpha 2 up to alpha 2 minus alpha 1, it will be 0. And during that period, it is, it is applied, okay, some kind of 0 signal, then again it gives signal. And you can see that both positive and negative cycle must be symmetrical. So if it is not symmetrical, it will create another kind of harmonic that is called the interharmonic. That is why in this offline method, you design this one, then put in an EPROM. EPROM or uh, EPROM you can, uh, you can give this commands or you can store this signal and then it will generate that pulse. It is became very easy and uh, or microprocessor based system dsp also you can use any processor there is no so this is why you we can design like this so i will tell another one you see this is also a like a you can uh, okay yes so this is a, a you can see a plus minus actually pulsed waveform okay and it has plus and both minus so uh, let me take a step here okay so it will be good so let me see here you can see that 
this one you are having both plus and minus okay you have a pulsating as i told you it is a, it is a, a bipolar plus vdc and minus vdc like this so this is one it is all pulsating and you can see that this is the waveform so this waveform till this point it was plus and minus like this the half cycle again in the half cycle minus and plus here to here so like this okay now this this waveform we want to make it was having the uh, this pulse if you take the fundamental it will come some kind of the dotted sheet okay now <coughs> you need to create these notches actually so you generally fourier transform of or fourier series expansion by using this equation we can derive uh, this vt is n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega t b n sin n so a n and b n both we can have uh, we can uh, you can derive from here and as you we get that the b n is some kind of this equation a n is equal to zero so v t is n is equal to one to infinity b n sin n omega t so you have now the consider k variable means the k number of the variables alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 number of k so this is what consider fifth and seventh harmonic third harmonic can be ignored if the machine has a isolated neutral because when we have a isolated neutral in the machine for example a induction motor is a delta connected or a floating neutral neutral is not available so generally third harmonic component current never flow through this ground wire because it is isolated neutral so this is isolated neutral when ia plus ib plus ic at the neutral point is equal to zero then that is the perfection but it will never become zero. it has some uh, the it is not balanced one so now this uh, fifth and seventh harmony you want to eliminate that means this b equation this b n is this equation so i can write the fifth harmony five harmonic means fifth harmonic and seventh harmonic means you can b1 is nothing but 4 by pi 2 cos alpha 1 plus 2 cos alpha 2 minus 2 cos alpha 3 here you can put your equation this okay now we so this is our equation actually in this equation put uh, the uh, n is equal to 5 n is equal to 7th uh, okay when you put this one you will get this three equation b1 b5 and b7 b1 is your fundamental then fifth and seventh so to eliminate these two fifth and seventh you put is equal to zero when you put this zero you will find out the alpha 1 and alpha 2 and alpha 3 will be you by iterative method you can use also matlab you can use also c c++ also but after two variable we can easily use our calculator and it is easily can be derived actually so when you have like this so automatically what we do is when this is like this then a by iterative alpha 1 is 20.9 alpha 2 is 35.8 and alpha 3 is 51.2 so this is what exactly you required here in the alpha 1 alpha 2 and uh, 
Listo. Yeah. Here. With this, you know that alpha 1 is here calculated from this place. Alpha 1 is 20.9, alpha 2 35.7. So these notches are created according to the calculated values. And then you will see that in the output, the fifth and seventh harmonics will be absent. Okay. How are we going to calculate sir, these three variables with two equations? Which one? Patrick, sir, there are only two equations. What will we put uh, in the fundamental? This is the fundamental you need to find out with this B1. B1 you will find out from this equation, fundamental. When the one you put here, you will see the magnitude of this one. Okay? So, when you put this one, this variable you see here, 1 minus 2 alpha 1 plus cos 2 alpha 2, this one. So, this variable actually is your uh, very small as compared to the magnitude. So, when in the fundamental we will find out what is the magnitude, we can equate. This is equal to per unit value 1. Okay? 1 minus 2 cos alpha 1 plus 2 cos alpha 2 minus 2 cos alpha 3 is equal to 1 you put. When you put 1, because that is per unit value you can see here, VO1 here in this equation, you can see here that it is nothing but the, uh, this is your per unit value. Per unit value with the fundamental where you need value is always uh, 1. So, per unit value, it is 1. And this 1 is, if you equate this equation to 1, okay, this entire equation to 1, then you will get this solution. So easily you can uh, put uh, this these three equation and you can easily solve. Okay. So these are the iterative method. Otherwise, also you can solve by using these two equation, three variable, by guessing some values alpha one, alpha two, alpha three. You can also consider. So minimum three equation you can derive from. Okay. Should we put B1 equal to 1 or, or some a specified value that will be given to us? No, 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 no. B1 is given to you means it is easier. Okay? If not given, 4 by pi, uh, this will not come. This entire system, this 1 minus 2 cos alpha plus 2 cos alpha 2 minus 2 cos alpha 3 is equal to 1. Okay? This. That means it is, uh, uh, this magnitude will be periodical. If Q1 is turning off at this point, and Q2 is turned on at this same point, there is simultaneously you can see that these two points are on the same line. So when one is switching off, another one is switching on. So due to this complementary, it must be complementary, and that is why it will both will be sorted for certain time for some microsecond okay so due to this uh, this uh, uh, sorting the entire current will flow through this one as a short circuit that means the dc link voltage vdc will be sorted through this two inverter leg and this due to sorting this uh, inverter will fail that is why we need to give some delay between two switches and that delay is called the dead time you can see here i have drawn here there are little delay between two pulses and pulse in the q1 and pulse in the q2 there is a small delay between both the switches, so that this period is called the dead time effect or the clearance time or the blanking time you can see here here i have said i have written blanking time dead time 
So to switch on this inverter, you need to design this uh, dead time. This dead time you can design by using optocouplers. Okay, uh, seven uh, seven four one two three uh, seven four yes one three, one two three is your dead time uh, optocoupler or the monostable multi vibrator. You can use by using by using R and C. Uh, circuit